lucky. I'm gonna put this over here. You are so lucky that I am not in a crappy mood today. <laughs> really, no, today I am a ray of sunshine because six years ago today I became a mama. I did. Aww, I did. Really, my daughter turned six today. And on top of that, I happen to be in love. Aww. He just flew into town yesterday. <laughs> But you know what, if I was in a crappy mood, I would totally not bring that out to you guys, because you guys have your own crap to deal with. <laughs> Absolutely not, I would not do that. I, what, you know what, I would snap myself out of it, because there is nothing that I hate worse than wallowing in my own misery and self-pity, you know? So I would snap myself out of it by reminding myself that having a crappy day is a lot like being married. <laughs> Chances are it is not going to last forever. <laughs> It's true, it's true. Your chances of actually having a crappy day that lasts forever, or, you know, like, till you die, is something like only 26.2%. <laughs> yeah. So that means that the other 73.8% of us are really good. We're good. I'm a math genius. <laughs> so how many of you guys are married, have been married, want to be married? Yeah? guys, and maybe some of you have already done this, but I have had my first marriage. I did that. And now I have, I have this theory now. I have a theory. It's sort of like an educated opinion that nine years is a really good amount of time to be married. I think that's pretty good. You know, 10 years, that's just a bit too long. And 20 years, that can be like hell for some people. <laughs> really. Yeah, but nine years is pretty good. Nine years is a good enough a time to kind of hang out, get to know each other, you know, uh, take some cool vacations, play house, you know, maybe get to know each other a little too well, so then you get divorced. It's no big deal. But that first year of divorce, that part really sucks. But it doesn't last forever. And then you get over it and you move on. And you find out that you can fall in love again. And you do with a guy that you've never met before on Facebook who lives in California and comes to visit you because he's in love with you too. Being divorced is really fun. <laughs> and you know what else is really fun? Having kids is really fun. Do you guys have kids? Real, well, woo, kid, we have a kid. We've got a kid. I got a kid too. We all got kids. We got at least two going on. I like kids. Kids are fun. You know what I think is really hard these days, though, is to find a gracious kid. That's what I think is hard. You know, okay, so for instance, kids are always asking for juice, which is great because juice is good for them. And, you know, you want to be nice, so you get them some juice. And you get them some juice, and then you hold out that sippy cup to them, and you get, what kind is it? <laughs> really? Does this happen to anybody else, you know? <laughs> I mean, seriously, do I have a face that says I'm trying to sabotage your juice drinking experience? <laughs> For God's sake. <laughs> what kind is it? I mean, really? You know? I mean, see, you and I know that if you want some juice, and someone is kind enough to bring you some juice, then you take a sip, and if you like it, you say, mmm, that's very good, what kind of juice is that? And if you don't like it, you might say something like, oh, wow, that's interesting, what, what kind of juice is that? While you're trying not to politely gag. You know? Yeah, but no, from most kids, I always get, what kind is it? And this bugs me so much that sometimes, and only sometimes, because I really am a nice mom, but sometimes, even though I know that it is orange peach mango, which, by the way, is a really good juice. My daughter loves it. Even though I know this, sometimes I want to reply in my best Clint Eastwood, and you got to give me a little leeway because it's only really spectacular if you're between the ages of four and six. But sometimes I just got to say, it's the kind of juice that comes from a piece of fruit. You asked for it, not drink it. Thanks, you guys. I'm sorry.